Good morning, my name is Jeremiah with Affordable Mobility Solutions and today I'm shooting a video of our 2008 Chevy Uplander side entry power ramp and door. To operate the ramp and door externally from the outside of the van, you gotta push the bottom left hand button. Hold it once, hit it once, hit it a second time, hold it for about three seconds, the ramp will deploy. Ramp is 30 inches wide, 56 inches of headroom inside the van, 58 inches of headroom once you're inside the van. It's got that carbon fiber floor, very easy to clean if you make a mess on it. Back seats look, look like they've hardly ever been set in. It's got a removable front passenger seat, so you can put a wheelchair up here. Or say you're going to want to drive the vehicle, you can put your wheelchair there and transfer over to the driver's seat. Or you can put a wheelchair there and one back here. So there's a lot of possibilities on how you can configure this van to meet your needs how you need it. The dash is in excellent condition. A lot of, a lot of these older dashes are all cracked up and beat up, but this one's not. So got the swivel seat and the six-way transfer seat what it is see it'll come back here this video is going to take a little longer than most because I have a few more things I need to show you as the very front button moves it back there's three buttons this one second one moves up and down higher and lower the third one swivels it so what you can do is leave it like this you come in Park your power wheelchair scooter back here. Transfer over to the seat. Hit the rear button. Push the rear button forward. Get turned around. And then hold the front button forward. This will pull you up to the driver's seat. This will allow you independence. You don't need to count on anybody else to give you rides. You don't have to wait on a ride service. You don't have to be on someone else's schedule. You can be in a power wheelchair and as long as you can, or scooter. As long as you can transfer, you can be completely independent. When it's time to shut the van, you can do it up here with this button where it says door, or you can do it with the key fobs like I showed you. I'm going to use the door button here. I'm going to hold it firmly. You can see the ramp's going to come up there. Very important. If you can do that, I would always recommend doing it while the engine's running. With that battery getting a charge, the ramp and door are going to work a lot better. So. If you ever have problems with your ramp and door first thing you want to check is your battery make sure it's strong make sure you're driving it almost daily keep that battery nice and strong it'll help that ramp, that ramp and door big time okay another nice feature it has the bottom right button on this fob hit it once hit it a second time pull your finger off remote start that's great not only in the winter time you want to come out to a nice warm van with the frosted windows also great in the summertime if you want to come out to a van that's nice and cool from the air conditioner so some nice neat modern features even though this van's a little bit older it's very clean it's got alloy wheels a set of four brand new arizonian tires on it this is an Amerivan conversion as you can see the body is very clean we took this on trade from a family they bought upgraded and got a newer mobility vehicle they've been garage kept senior citizen driven very clean a few small scuffs in the paint but I'm telling you what, you're not going to find a much cleaner vehicle in this budget, this age, this mile. It's very clean. has a very clean interior. I'm a non-smoker. I can smell smoke from a mile away. No signs of any smoke or unusual odors. The interior is super clean. There's a little stopper that goes in here right here. It's missing. The Chevy's are notorious for those braking. You, know, you can try and find that online. Do that if you like. You got a little... Um, got the owner's manual there and everything. They've got a zip tie right here to operate this currently so that latch is missing and I hope you can see in this video I'm trying to be honest with you. I'm trying to be as fair as I possibly can and let you know everything I know about this van. I'm not trying to sugarcoat it. I'm not trying to make it look like a perfect van but it's a very very nice very well taken care of van. Over here on the driver's side of course you have the power, power swivel seat but you can also move it back and forward with that button as well. And one thing we always do, we show you the VIN number. That way you know I have this vehicle in my possession, that I'm not pulling some internet scam trying to get you to send me money when I don't even have this vehicle. So be aware of that. And then we take that VIN number. We do a free Carfax report with every one of our vehicles. You can see this Uplander has no accidents or damage. Four owners, last owned in Kansas, like I said, a local vehicle. Carfax shows no fire, no, no, no salvage, junk, rebuilt, fire, flood, hail, or lemon brands on the title. They show no total loss, so this is not a rebuilder. This is not a salvage vehicle. This is a clean title, 
shows no structural damage, so the frame's never been bent. Airbags have never been de deployed. Um, got the odometer check, shows a mileage inconsistency, I'll show that to you. Um, accidents or damage, none of those, no open recalls. And as we scroll down here, shows a mileage inconsistency of back in 2018, but this was a government vehicle before then. So I, I looked at this before I bought the vehicle. I don't see the government rolling back the vehicle. I'm gonna guess quick draw oil change and Dodge City may have mispunched a number in mistakenly. So that's for you to decide what you think about that. You know, I, I, I wasn't buying it as far as uh, you know, that, that the odometer had been rolled back with the condition of the vehicle, knowing it was a government vehicle, all, the, all those things. I don't think government employees get in and roll odometers back, so I think it was just a mistake by the people that did the oil change. Also, no matter who you're buying from, do your research on it. Find out who they are. Find out their reputation. You can look us up on eBay, 886 transactions. You can see we have zero negative feedback. That's 886 people said we did them right. Zero people said we did them wrong. Also, look up the company on Google. Make sure they're a real company. Do not send your money to some fake imposter company. You'll never see that money again. Look at our reviews. We have 4.7 out of 5 stars. Look at all the great things people are saying about us. Okay, now time to get the vehicle on a test drive. We've got two keys and two fobs for unlocking the door. Two fobs for the remote start and running the ramp system as well. And you'll see when I go to turn the van on, fires right up every time. You can see all the dummy lights work and they all go out. So there's no check engine lights on, no ABS lights, no airbag lights, none of that. Current miles, 105, 147 showing on the odometer. Wanted to show you a little bit of chipping here on the dash as well. I'm trying to show you everything I see. AC works. I've got three mechanics that work for me who push every button on these vehicles. We do the power mirrors, power windows, power locks. It's not some vehicle you come look at or we ship out to you. And it's got a bunch of issues we didn't tell you about. That's not how I do business. Um, down here, looks like someone probably had hand controls in the dash at one time. They came out here and attached to the steering wheel. Those have obviously been removed. There's a hole in the dash from that. I wanted to show that to you and I wanted to just explain to you why that's there. Underneath the hood has a 3.9 V6 engine, idles smoothly. No signs of any leaks, no signs of any damage. That 3.9 is one of the better she motor Chevy ever made. And as I crawl underneath the van, much of the same, very clean. No signs of any, uh, any abnormal rust, no signs of any bent metal from an accident. And this one had an oil pan leaking on, oil pan gasket was leaking. It's a very big job. I got it fixed, it's $800 to get it fixed. I've got the receipts for it. You know, we put a lot of money into these vans and we shoot you straight on, on the condition of the van so let's get it out on the test drive so you can hear it run okay the final portion of the video i always like to get the vans out on the test drive give them some gas so you can hear the engine run feel the transmission shift through all the gears and you know that whether you take advantage of our free shipping in the lower 48 states or if you come in and drive this van home we've done our due diligence Made sure that it's roadworthy, that it runs and drives nice down the highway. A little bit of traffic, but I've got up to 60 miles an hour. Steering wheel's nice and straight when I'm driving straight. We've got the cruise control set. You can see the cruise works good. Overall, super clean vehicle. Been very well taken care of. With all that being said, we strongly recommend an affordable extended warranty with every used vehicle. They go anywhere from 90 days and all the way up to four years and everywhere in between. They also have an add-on package where you can, you can warranty the conversion. I strongly recommend that. These conversions can be extremely expensive to operate. I rarely sell power ramps and doors, especially older ones, for that reason. Uh, but so I strongly recommend if you are going to get a power ramp and door, that you do get a warranty that's going to protect that. So in case something does break down, you don't get a $2,000 bill to, to fix it. So keep that in mind. Also keep in mind, we don't have any hidden fees. A lot of these dealers have a real nice price online. Then they have a bunch of hidden administrative fees, document fees, tag fees. They got it in the real fine print at the very bottom of their ad where you need a microscope to, microscope to read it. Or a magnifying glass, I should say. <laughs> but uh, my point is, you know, if someone's not being honest with you about the real price, if they've got it in the fine print and they're trying to add on all these fees on the back end, what else are they hiding from you? Are they hiding mechanical issues, a salvage title, a flood? You know, I don't know. 
I just know if people aren't being transparent from the start, there's probably a lot more they're hiding on the back end. So that's something you need to think about as a consumer. I'm going to give it a nice hard break. No grinding, no squeaking, no unusual brake noise or vibration. So again, exactly what we're looking for. And hey, if you want to give me a phone call, 316-262-VANS. That's 316-262-8267. My name is Jeremiah. If you're more of a text messenger, give me a text, 316-518-4377. You've now got my cell phone number. I am the owner. Now, I want you to talk to the competition, and I want you to ask them if they are dedicated enough to customer service to give you the owner's cell phone number. Try it. Try it and see what they say. And also, hey, if you want to talk to a used car salesman, go ahead and call the competition. That car salesman will probably be calling you five times a day asking if you're ready to make a deal. But if you want to talk to the owner who's not pushy at all, I promise you I'm going to sell this van whether you buy it or not. If you want to talk to someone that's not pushy, give me a call or text anytime. And yes, we do take trade-ins even from across the country. Talk to me about how that works. And we do have financing available. We can send an application to your phone or your email address and you can fill it out. And if you're not real tech savvy, give us a phone call. We can take an application over the phone. We're happy to help. And if you'd like to see our entire inventory with detailed videos, free Carfax reports, and dozens of pictures, check out our website, www.mobility316.com. That's mobility316.com. And as always, thank you so much for checking out Affordable Mobility Solutions, where mobility is affordable. Call us today.